I am delighted to say I have never, ever had this issue. Only because I don't go camping. Beer, 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 ba beer, ba beer, beer, beer. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to me, Maple Ruski, for another Ruski Ruski review. And today, the beer that I have for you guys is from the North Winds Brewery up in Collingwood, Ontario. They have two locations, I guess one more in the city and one right in Blue Mountain in the village. That's where I got this beer. It was that Blue Mountain? It was a really good time. Today we have their crowded camper pale ale. American pale ale to be more specific. This beer is coming in at 5.2% alcohol by volume and 34 IBUs. Very nice indeed. Very, very nice indeed. 5.2, a beautiful happy spot for a pale ale. A little over that five, not close to six, so that would more make it seem like an IPA. But hey, let's crack this bad boy open and let's see what we got. Very full can. I do like to see that. We got our Paris. Beer company beer glass here. Alrighty, let's pour this bad boy. Let's see what we got. American Pale Ale, so I can only assume hoppy, but not in your face. A nice little bit of maltiness in the back. But looking at the beer here, it's a beautiful orange color. I thought it was gonna be a bit more yellow, pale yellow, or even gold perhaps, but no, it's not. Mmm, I like that. I like that quite a bit. Nice, slightly off-white head on top, but pretty damn good. A little bit of haze, not too much. Perfect for a pale ale. Let's dive in on that nose. Ooh, ooh, okay. Pine, grapefruit, lemony, zesty, and juicy. Hmm, with just a slight little touch of, you know, caramel. Hmm, a little bit of caramel backbone. Swirl it around. Oh wow, that lemon. That's just like, you know when they take a lemon or something to go like that? That's a, oh wow, that's really nice. Mixing in with that caramel there, whoa, whoa, weird. I wouldn't think lemon and caramel would go well together, but it does. A little bit of breadiness in the back end, not too much. It's like biscuity note as well. Maybe from those darker grains, maybe something like a caramel uh, 20, maybe? Some other darker mold. Pretty nice. Let's dive in. On the sip. Okay. Okay. Definitely. Definitely. A lot more piney uh, forward of a pale ale. I didn't think it was going to be this bitter. For 34 IBUs, I know that sounds pretty low, but this one, at least on that first sip, is coming across a bit bigger than that. Not what I was expecting from a pale ale. Not a bad thing, though. Pretty good so far. Cheers, everybody. Let's keep on drinking. Big pine, lemon rind. Yeah, lemon rind for sure. Maybe a touch of zest in there, but definitely much more on the bitter side of things. Mm hmm. A little crackery. Yeah, fairly crackery maltiness out of there. No real breadiness to it. Almost uh, like fairly grassy as well. Think of like dried grass or even hay uh, bitterness to it. Not too bad. I thought it might, might be just a lit, just a touch sweeter. The nose definitely makes it seem like it's going to have a little bit of sweetness to it. To it, but in reality, it is a fairly bitter uh, American pale ale. Again, not a bad thing. Just not what I was expecting. Really see this bitterness, this level of bitterness more akin to a uh, like a, a full-blown IPA. Still, pretty cool to see a pale ale with a, with a lower, you know, you know, regular 5.2% ABV with some nice uh, heavy hoppy kick to it. See what the can has to say. Northwinds Brewery American Pale Ale Crowded Camper. Again, haven't had a crowded camper before. Pretty happy about that. 5.2% ABV, 34 IBUs. Description reads, your best memories come from the nights you cram too many people into a tent, an RV, motel room, or a sleeping bag. Life is beautiful that way. 
Combine the chaos with one of these copper-hued American Pale Ales, and you're writing the stuff of legends. Okay, maybe I totally lied. Well, partially lied. I don't go camping a lot, but I have been in a crowded tent. Um, when I used to work as a camp counselor, the staff would do a like a two like a weekend training session where it would be an overnight thing, and there would be way too many people in these small ass tents. Um, that sucked for the one or two nights we were there. Plus, rocks are fun to sleep on. And yeah, cool. Uh, don't think there's a can on date. There wasn't on the other beer and no, nothing on here. Again, you don't see that too often. On the website though, northwindsbrewery.com, go to the store section, you will find Crowded Camper American Pale Ale. As of recording, it is sold out. This is February 14th, Valentine's Day. Um, but yeah, we got a slightly, we got a different description, one liner, real simple, real quick. Lemon and pine aroma, light malt body, slight bitter finish. I would say bigger, bitter, bigger bitter finish, but lemon and pine aroma. Mm -hmm. Lemon and pine might make it seem like it's gonna smell like pine salt. It does not. Pretty damn good beer though. Pretty damn good. It's also a price. Get to that in a second. On tap, crowded camper has given it a 3.52 bottle caps out of five, and that's out of 813 ratings. For the price of this beer, it's $3.25. No complaints there at all. Either way, pretty good beer. Mm. Solid pale ale. It's, it's great beer, especially in the, um, I guess in, in the setting that maybe you want a more bitter, hoppier forward, you know, beer for sure, but you don't want to get in that IPA territory because of the, the generally higher ABV markings. This right here is really going to hit the spot, give you that big hoppy kick, hoppy punch to the face without, uh, you know, being too high in alcohol. 5.2, that's easy. That's easy street, boys. Boys and girls, that is easy straight. Either way, choose the final sip. Oh, that's great. Rings and wrap this thing up. North winds. Crowded camper. It kind of lives up to its name. There is a lot of hop flavor in here crowding the flavor profile, which is a really cool, great thing indeed. If you're looking though for a pale ale with a little less hoppy kick, this won't be the one for you, but if you're a big fan of hops, if you're a hop head, this thing is right up your alley, no questions asked. Lemon, pine, slight crackery note to it, a little bit of grassy and hay notes to it. Pretty damn good overall beer. Nice hoppy kick. I'm, I'm a fan of this. I'm a fan of this indeed. Doesn't blow me away though, but it's still a beautiful, beautiful beer. Crowded Camper, North Wales Brewery, gets a solid, it's a solid 7.3 out of 10 for me. Before I leave you guys, if you have any comments, questions, or beers you want to review in the future, you can leave all that information down in the comment box below. If you want to go ahead and like this video or subscribe to me, Mate Peruski, that'd be greatly appreciated as well. And with all that said, that's going to do it for me, Mate Peruski. And like I always say, crack a beer and enjoy. Cheers.